two dogs died during a despicable 1,000-mile sled dog race. There have been new requests for the annual 1,000-mile dog sled sport in Alaska to be cancelled after two dogs passed away. Every March, dog sled drivers, or mushers, and their canine teams compete in the Iditarod, which involves traversing frozen rivers, sea ice, and mountain ranges, often in hazardous weather. The race begins on the first Saturday of each month and covers a distance of approximately 10 days, starting in Anchorage and ending in Nome. This year, after getting CPR from a veterinarian, a two-year-old male named Bog passed away after collapsing within 200 feet 61 meters, of one of the race's checkpoints. A second dog, George, 4, collapsed around 629 miles into the contest and also died despite attempts to revive him. The dogs were part of separate teams. Their mushers, Isaac T. Ford and Hunter Keith, both voluntarily withdrew from the race. Their deaths have prompted animal welfare organization PETA to call for the event, which is the world's longest sled dog race, to be banned. Its senior vice president Colleen O'Brien said, the death count keeps climbing for dogs who are forced to run until their bodies break down, also the human winner can get a trophy while the dogs get an icy grave. PETA is calling for this despicable race to end. The campaign group claims more than 150 dogs have died in the Iditarod since it was first held in 1973. Official data on the number of canine casualties has never been released. The last dog to die during the competition was a five-year-old female called Ashi back in 2019. After the race, vets found signs of pneumonia. Five dogs lost their lives and eight others were hurt in the run-up to this year's competition when teams were inadvertently struck by snowmobiles during practice runs. Five of the 38 mushers who started the race this year have dropped out of contention, 